Hello everybody, it's Gfree here, and uh, yeah, we're back with another Mobile Legends game. I'm actually really into it. It's been uh, slightly over a week that I've had this game. I've been really, really into it, playing it quite a bit. Um, don't worry, my Overwatch videos will still be going up, but yeah, uh, we're just going to jump straight into the game. Um, enjoy! Okay. Let's see what everyone's picking. Marksman, insta-locked, a tank, insta-locked. I hope someone picks a mage. If not, I might pick a mage. But ideally, I'd like to play um, this character called Ruby. She's a brawler. She's a really strong one. <clears throat> she has a lot of crowd control. We have an assassin. Please pick a mage, last person. Mage, mage, pick a mage. Yes! Okay. So this character is Ruby. Um, her base model is actually based off Little Red Riding Hood. But I have this particular skin. She's that, she fits that creepy cute girl sort of thing, so whatever. So the character I'm playing is Ruby. Her specialty is in crowd control. She has a lot of area of effect abilities, AoEs, that can slow people and she also has two abilities that do AoE stuns. Um, her downside is that she's melee and she's a little fragile at the start of the game, but it's possible to build her in such a way that she gets really um, tanky. She has a lot of survivability um, if you buy the right items. She is specifically designed to not be a um, to be a killer in terms of her auto attacks, um, because Welcome they made it such that her base abilities, her base, at her normal attacks, um, can't get life steal. So the only way to get life steal with her is if you uh, f through your abilities. And since abilities have cooldowns. That affects um, that affects how much life steal you can possibly capitalize on. The same story goes with crit, so she can't really life steal off that. She can't really crit off that. Um, and I have no idea what my team's doing, guys. Guys, please don't do this to me. Go back to your lane. Be a good boy and a good girl. Just no one going there. She needs to be careful. Okay. So, while they're entertaining themselves there, I'll come here to the jungle. So this is basically how uh, melee characters handle being in lane. Really? Please don't stand there, he is going to hook you and kill you. This is empty. Back off. Why is this guy coming here? Well. 
So as you saw right there, that's what my character does. She appears, she stuns you, she pulls you in, and she can be really, really scary. But as you saw, she's also really, really fragile. <clears throat> I probably took like three hits from the tower. So this is a pretty big item I just got. It allows me to get life steal off my abilities that will allow me to stay in lane a little longer. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that cast. I'm basically looking for an opportunity to hook someone out so I can kill them. I'm a bit nervous for this guy, so I'm gonna. Our turret is under attack. An enemy has been slain. Good for them. And that is how Ruby plays. She appears, she dances around you, she kills you. And my ally is fucked. I can't save my ally. Try it. Try it, you stupid saber. It's not the wrong call to... As long as I'm relatively careful, I'm fine. Uh, as long as he can't, doesn't just get a random hook off on me, I'm actually safe. But I think he's going to try. My sleep reminder! Fuck it all! Fuck it all! Uh, do I need magic resistance? No, I'll go for physical damage. Enemy has been slain. Um, so, right now, it's okay for me to stay here. My team should not have the sense not to over engage. So I know where the Franco is, I'm going to come up here. Uh, the Franco's in mid lane, at least from what we saw. So. An ally has been slain. Now I'm gonna go mid lane because I think my allies. Are... Enemy has been slain. Enemy Ouch. We can't let. Okay, Saber is one of those characters that um, can actually get really, really strong if you're not careful. fast enough and they're just feeding the saber some more Shut down. okay the saber's dead good 
No, Mia. Mia. Mia chan. Oh, she got hooked. She's dead. Um, it could just be that I'm playing with a lot of beginners. I only started playing this game last week. So, no! No, 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 no. Okay. That works. Go, 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 go. Cool. That works. Your team destroyed a turret. Like I said, um, because of all my disables, it, once I have uh, levels and all my abilities on me, I can look like I am vulnerable, but I actually have the ability to stun you out of your mind. So, Mia, Mia, retreat, please. I'm very wary about pushing out right now because the enemy team still has a lot more initiation power. Meaning, they, when I say initiation power, they have the ability to start the fight on their terms. They've got a guy who can hook you, they've got an assassin. In fact, they've got two assassins who can do huge amounts of burst damage and basically just delete someone. And yeah, our top lane is in so much trouble right now. I have your number. Double kill. Our turret has been destroyed. Shut down. Enemy double kill. Taking a life. Where is she? Our turret has been destroyed. Cool. We made a good call, caught her, and killed her. Uh, did we lose our bot inhibitor turret already? Because that will be fast if we have. Fuck! We've lost it. Yeah. Somehow I'm... Uh, this is one of the issues with Ruby. Um, she's only good in team fights, so if the enemy team is um, spreading out a whole bunch, you're not going to be as strong as you'd like to be. Oh fuck, top lane's a serious threat right now. So I'm gonna have to go back and stop the saber from just killing everything. Our inhibitor turret is under attack. You can't solo against a team like that because they have just so much ability to shove lanes. <clears throat> like right now I can help my team in team fights, but I need my team to be able to get the kills on their own and oh my god. We are at a time we are on a time limit, boys. Got the kill, but we lost that fight. 
Yeah, my team doesn't have enough, um... My team can't actually kill. Not against that much, uh, disabled. So the enemy team doesn't have the sort of, um... Area that my control does. But they have enough single target control that it still makes up for it. And she's dead. And all these lanes. Mm. Our inhibitor turret is under attack. I should change my skin of war. Guys, you are over committing to one person. I'm looking for an opportunity to hook someone in. Is this Launch, attack. your team destroyed a turret? Retreat, initiate, 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 retreat. Yes, good move, guys. Keep pushing that. Trying to do what I can to hold this fight off. Initiate retreat. Initiate retreat. Oh no, why did you do that?
Initiate retreat. Initiate retreat. Initiate retreat. Initiate retreat. Resurrecting soon. I love taking um, in terms of the next item I need to build, I'm changing to get this. Uh, this needs to be the recommended item. Okay. My team is doing it. Okay. Thank you, um, Aurora. And to you too, Mia. That was so intense! So, if you're wondering what happened there, it looked like I killed him and he had this item called Immortality that brings him back with a bit of health. So I needed to just wait for his barrier that Immortality gives to fade off before I try and fight him. Engage this. Mega kill. An enemy has been slain. On second thought, I stand corrected. Keep doing it. Slain. 
Okay, so they can do enough damage to take me out. Again, as you can see right here, Ruby is not um, a tank, and um, I overestimated my survivability. So my team is making the right call to back off. Because they can't let this tower go down. Yay, we win! Um, huh. Victory! Let me think of how... Let me try and analyze this before I make any comments. You can clearly see how Ruby plays. She has a lot of disables as the game goes along. You really saw me dance around the fight. Um, and really what she brings to the to a team is that area control. I wasn't as good at 1v1s, it's not impossible, but really what my team needed me for was to lock down the enemy team so that they could do their damage. And in the mid game, um, that was what I was really most important for because the enemy team had a lot of momentum on us. They basically had two uh, assassin type characters and assassin type characters um, by their name they they go in they kill and they basically ensure that when the team fight really starts you're rarely at an equal footing the enemy team uh basically has all these options to start the fight on their terms the other the guy who has that hook who pulls someone in so just because of that he pulls someone in they kill that person and it becomes a 4v5 and if i'm not there to or I don't start the fight with a very good stun, then my team doesn't have the opportunity to put down their damage. And that's why um, we had such a hard time in the middle of the game. But as we move forward, once my team actually got their own momentum, they didn't really need me, because then they could actually output the damage on their own. So I, I do think I was pretty relevant because we were in a really bad state. We had lost one tower and they were just pushing on our front door for ages. But simply because I can stun anyone who tries to come in and I can stun them underneath the tower, which does a lot of damage, um, I managed to ward them off. With help, of course, from the Aurora who can output a lot of damage. Um, beyond that, uh, I by the time I hit late game, I wasn't as relevant. I was, I mean, I wasn't irrelevant but i wasn't i wasn't uh the hero for my team i wasn't the most important person in the fight which is fine it takes the pressure off me so yeah let me know what you think let me know uh if you have any advice tips i just started a week ago so i'm definitely open to feedback 
Uh, maybe you have something to say about my build in terms of how I moved around the map, my priori my priorities, because I was always defending the base. I didn't really want to move out to push with them. Do you think it would have been better if I mo moved out to push with them and try and hope someone else stay in the base? I don't know. So yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Leave a like as well. You can also share the video if you want to help me out. Um, but more importantly, subscribe if you want to see more of this. And I'll also have a link to my Facebook page in the description down below. Please go ahead and like it over there. That's where I put all of the... Uh, footage that doesn't make the YouTube channel. So yeah. So until next time, bye guys.